In this lecture, we're going to talk about opportunity cost. So let's start off with the question, what is opportunity cost? And the answer is, well, it's the most highly valued alternative forfeited, and that word forfeited is key, the most highly valued alternative forfeited when a choice is made. So let's give a, an example of what we mean. Suppose I'm a student and there, here are things that I can do, let's say within the next hour, two hours. I can attend class, or I can stay at home, or I can go to work. Now, let's suppose that, suppose that what I choose to do is attend class. That's my choice. Out of the three things that I could do, I choose to attend class. My next best alternative, in other words, what I would have done if I hadn't chosen to attend class, sort of what was second on my list, is stay at home. So staying at home is what I have forfeited by choosing to attend class. So we would say this, the opportunity cost of my attending class is staying at home. That is what I forfeited. That is what I gave up. That was the cost to me of attending class, what I would have done. Now let's look at another example. Suppose that during the next hour or so I can read a book, sleep, or clean the house. And my choice is to read a book. Now, if I hadn't chosen to read a book, my next best alternative would have been to sleep. So what do I give up by choosing to read a book? What do I forfeit? Well, I forfeit sleeping. So sleeping is the opportunity cost to me of reading a book. We can think of opportunity cost as consisting of foregone benefits. And there's that word again, foregone. For example, I can read for the next hour, or I can watch TV for the next hour. I choose to read. So that means I gave up the benefits I would have received by watching TV. I forego those benefits. So those foregone benefits are my opportunity cost of reading. Now let's look at things in dollar terms. Again, let's suppose that what I can do is read or talk on the phone. And I make a choice, I choose to read. Now, the benefits I would have received from talking on the phone in dollar terms, let's say, is $3. In other words, someone asks me, did you receive any benefits? Would you have received any benefits from talking on the phone? And I say, yes, I would have and they say, could you put a dollar amount on those benefits? And suppose the dollar amount is three dollars worth of benefits. That means I forfeit those three dollars worth of benefits of talking on the phone when I choose to read. So we can say the opportunity cost of reading to me is those forego foregone three dollars worth of benefits. Let's look at some questions. Is the opportunity cost the same for everyone who attends college? So you've got a lot of individuals, individual A, B, C, D, and E, and F attending college. Does everyone forfeit exactly the same thing to attend college? The answer is no. For example, let's say person A is 19 years old and person F is 19 years old. And person A has been acting and could currently if she wants to, be in a movie and be paid for that movie three million dollars. So if she chooses now to attend college instead of being in the movie, she forfeits three million dollars. Person F doesn't have as high an opp opportunity cost of attending college. Suppose for person F, the income that he forfeits is, let's say, $10,000. So the opportunity cost of these two individuals, A and F, is not the same for attending college. Is the tuition to attend college the same as the opportunity cost of attending college? And the answer is no. Could be that persons A and F, if they attended college, pay the same tuition. And let's say that tuition is uh, $10,000. So the tuition for A is $10,000 and the tuition for F is $10,000. But the opportunity cost is not the same for these two individuals, although the tuition cost is.